Hi everybody, it's Eva and welcome to my channel Revit Plus. If you want to learn more about Revit and tips and tricks, you are in the right place. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use design options in Revit 2022. So let's start. Okay, here we have uh, our architectural Revit model open here. Uh, so in a 3D view. So what we are going to do, we are going to orientate the view to a uh, ground floor plan. Yes, so this is our ground floor plan. And let's say that our client wants to see the furniture, this large table in a different position. So how can we do this in our Revit model without duplicating Revit models? So it's very easy and is using design options. So to go to design options, we go to manage and then we go to design options. And then we have a second uh, way to access to design options and is in our down bar here, we have design options as well. Okay. So let's go to design options and it, Revit will pop up this window, which is in blank. Okay. The first, the first thing that we have to do is create our option set. Okay. So we will click in new and then by default, this name is by default. We will rename it. Um, for example, here we are interested in change the furniture. So we will say furniture set. Okay, so that's the name of, of our set. So always by default, we have the option one, which is primary. And we are going to create a secondary option, option two, which is, for example, we can rename it and we can say option two, um, furniture, furniture rot rotated. Yes, and let's say, okay, and close it. Okay, so now we are going to click, sorry, we are going to click in the whole furniture, the whole table. We are going down in our, can you see this little blue arrow? We, we are going to click here and Revit by default is showing a click in option one and a click in option two activated. So we leave it as it is and we will say, okay. So now we have this table in option one and option two. So what we're going to do, we are going to go to this little arrow here and we are going to click in option two, furniture rotated. So now we can select the whole table. We can say, for example, rotate the table 90 degrees. Yes. And then move the table here. Uh, yeah, more or less here. And then it's done. So now we can go again to our option one, which is this one, and we can go to main model. Remember, main model always is linked with option one primary. Okay, let's say that our client now sees uh, the option and says, oh, okay, yes, I like it. But you know what, Eva? Mm, okay, this is option one we are showing to our client. And the client says, okay, show me option two. Okay. So now we are showing option two, but how you can see the whole rabbit is faded and the colors and everything. So because this is a secondary option, that's the reason. So let's say that our client says, okay, I want uh, this um, second option as a principal option. Okay. Let's say, okay, fine. That's fine. So how can we just move the whole Revit model uh, as, a, as a true color again? Okay, so it's very easy. So the first thing that we have to move again to main model. And then we go to design options. And then in design options, we will click in option two, furniture rotated. And then we are going to make option two as a primary option click in primary option and now say closed. So now everything in the Revit model is showing as a true color with our option two, but now it's not anymore option two, it's an option one primary. 
if our client change uh, their mind, uh, whatever it, it is, we can go back to the option one primary. We can go again to design options, click in option one, make it primary again and close it. And now again, we have with the option one as a primary. So we can play with these things and we are always, we can show our client different results and different options, different sections and elevations and plans. And we always, we can play around with these options. Okay. I hope that you like it. You like the, this video. If you like, please subscribe and share and, and I see you if you like it just and click in like it as well. And I see you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye.